You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Right now, we are bracing for another round of potentially severe storms. Parts of the metro already facing a huge cleanup effort. Look at that flooding. The system that swept through Georgia less than 24 hours ago brought tornadoes to the south and even turned deadly, killing at least one person near Savannah. All the more reason to stay weather aware today. Chesley, what do we need to know about this round two? Well, round two is not like yesterday's round where we were tracking storms across the state of Alabama and Mississippi moving into the state. We watched those as they moved across. It'll be more development as we head into the afternoon, especially once we get into the daytime heating. So waking up this morning, there's not much on the radar right now. If you check your app, you don't see anything at all except for some fog in some spots. And so we'll be watching two areas down here to the south and also a cold front back off to the north and west of us that will come in later on this evening. So first, the first round, at least for this afternoon, we'll see that development that will take place down here to the south and that will begin to move to the north and so it's down here to the south where we'll have the greatest impacts you're looking at the tornado environment it does show a greater threat a little bit further down to the south there's still a threat over us but it's on the low end and so it's still possible but it's a low end threat for tornadoes how about the hail well yesterday we saw pea size hail and dime size hail as you see as we head through the afternoon it's very starts off very low but then that starts to increase as well as we head into the afternoon as the storms down here to the south continue to develop so we'll continue to watch that that could actually add more problems to an area that already saw some tornadoes down here to the central portions of the state. We saw a lot of damage around here because of the winds as well. Brittany Kleinpeter has been out all morning long and surveying some of that damage. She joins us this morning. How's it looking right now? Good morning, Jessely. We are in the Peachtree Hills Avenue area of Fairhaven Circle. This is where there was a massive power outage, but lights are starting to come back on this morning. That's all after officials say a tree fell down on a power pole in this area, and we saw not only down trees causing power outages, but flooding was also a major issue. It was being reported on a number of roads yesterday, including Piedmont and Miami Circle in the Lindbergh area neighborhood. There were also reports of damage from possible tornadoes in West and Middle Georgia near Macon. And as you mentioned, Chesley, today just around one, we still have some trees that may have been slightly damaged but didn't fall yet from yesterday. So residents are going to want to stay aware going into this afternoon. That's absolutely right. Thanks a lot, Brittany. Really appreciate that. Folks, we want you to stay weather aware so you can keep you and your family safe. One of the easiest ways to do that is to download our 11 Live app. You can go to the App Store, download it for free. It'll bring you all the alerts right there to your phone, no matter where you are, so that you can stay safe. Cheryl? Chesley, thanks a lot. Here's a look at some other top headlines this morning. Developing now, Atlanta police are investigating what led to a deadly shooting in the Thomasville Heights neighborhood. A man was shot and killed another hurt Tuesday evening. They say both victims were found near the Forest Cove apartments on Newtown Circle Southeast. Homicide detectives are currently working this case right now. They've not released any information about a suspect. A group of kids now under investigation after a referee was surrounded, then attacked during a fight at a youth basketball game. And there is video of all of it. Take a look for yourself. This video from Lithonia has gone viral on Facebook. The video appears to show both players and spectators attacking the referee, though it's not clear which teams were involved. It happened at church on Sunday. The ref ended up needing to go to the hospital for his injuries. At this point, police say they have not arrested or or charged anybody and all eyes are on Tiger. Tiger Woods says he has his sight set on winning another green jacket. Woods announcing a comeback almost 14 months after a brutal car crash where he suffered serious leg injuries. His right leg was so shattered that an amputation was an option. Tiger says as of right now he plans to compete for his sixth win at the Masters. He's scheduled to tee off just before 11 tomorrow. Right after 11 Live Morning News, the Today Show will have more on what hurdles Tiger hopes to clear during his practice today and why this course makes his quest for a sixth green jacket so much more difficult. Happening today, new information on the next steps in the pandemic. FDA advisors will meet to talk about next steps for the vaccine. Karis Belger is in the newsroom with more. Karis, the FDA will cover a lot of ground today, but the focus will be on how vaccines could change over time.
Yeah, good morning. That's one of the things they're looking at today. The FDA is going to look at how well the current vaccines are holding up against current and new variants and what adjustments need to be made to make sure that vaccine remains effective against new variants. So that's something that the FDA is going to be looking at. We also know that Pfizer and Moderna are also holding trials, looking at how the vaccines react to Omicron. That's currently the dominant variant. We did speak with an expert from a local college who gave some insight about how this is going to work and what the FDA specifically is going to look at. With COVID, we don't yet have that predictability. Um, we haven't seen those patterns well enough over time that, that we can, that we can uh, do those projections. And I think that's something that the FDA um, advisory committee uh, in, in the information they put out ahead of their um, committee meeting is, is fully aware of. The FDA will have already had some information going into today's meeting that they are going to look at. And also they are going to make sure that they look at all of the new data that's coming in about this to see what adjustments they will need to make. All right, Kiris, thank you. Time right now is 655. Here's a look at what you need to know before you head out the door. The United States and other G7 nations are planning to roll out new sanctions against Russia. This after Ukrainian officials detailed evidence that Russian forces targeted even tortured civilians and new reports this morning that Russia fired on people at a humanitarian aid station. So the new sanctions would include a ban on all new investments in Russia, plus greater sanctions on financial institutions, government officials and their families. The White House is expected to extend a moratorium freezing federal student loan payments until September with interest remaining at zero percent. The payments were scheduled to start up again May 1st, but the White House is facing mounting pressure to push back that deadline. Toll lanes are returning to Georgia. GDOT just approved a measure that would let a private developer build and maintain tolled express lanes along Georgia 400. It's all part of a larger plan to add tolled express lanes to I-285 and I-20. And bracing for another round of storms. Yesterday's severe weather spawned tornadoes in South Georgia and led to the death of one person near Savannah. Another person died in Texas. More than 10 million people across the country are at risk for the storms today, including those of us here in Metro Atlanta. Chesley, we're looking at the afternoon, right? Yes, that's where we'll start to see some of these sprinkles that you see down here to the south begin to develop into thunderstorms and move further off to the north. So we'll be watching that after 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. So you may have to adjust your plans once again today, folks. Around noon, isolated showers around. Temperatures on the warm side, right around 71. We're going to reach a high today of about 78 degrees. We'll have the rain and thunderstorms. Uh, in some spots, it will be on the heavy side, more scattered than what we saw with the widespread rain yesterday. And by 6 o'clock for your drive home, still more of those scattered showers around. Temperatures right at 77 degrees. A live look at Truist Park, where your Atlanta Braves will open up their season tomorrow. Now it's foggy out there right now, so you can't see it, but trust me, the stadium it's is right there. Yeah, it's there. First pitch is at 8 p.m. Skies will have cleared by then, so it should be a good game. Join me and Jerry Carnes tomorrow, starting at 4.30 in the morning. We'll be live at Truist Park, telling you all the things you need to know about the season of the championship break. Yes. Hey, on the bright side, the, the ballpark will be real green. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of all green. All right. Stay safe in that weather today. See you tomorrow.